Good morning and welcome to a new vlog today from a different scenery because today is a different Monday. I am not going to work, I'm not going to study. I am actually going to Prague to do my nails and I am going with the car. I'm currently at the train station because I wanted to get me some Starbucks. Um, it's like on the way but we don't have these fancy drive-thrus like in the US so I just need to go out and actually buy it. Uh, I am in a rush because I slept a little bit longer um, so let's go to Starbucks get some Starbucks and then let's go I have a one hour 50 minute 45 minute drive so I have my Starbucks uh, and I didn't buy my usual order it's so crazy like it's not crazy guys but for me so I bought a uh, iced latte chai no iced chai tea latte with um, oat milk yeah so it's not a coffee oh my god let's try this and then I need to quickly do my hair before I go oh my god like I need to put the rollers in I am really in a rush but I will just be still Okay, I need to mix it more, I think. I think I just got the chai syrup or something. And from the end, it was so sweet. Okay, now. Mm -mm. It's too much. Fuck, 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 fuck. I wanted a nice drink. It's too much chai. I love chai, I love chai, but it's too much, it's too sweet. I will still drink it. Uh, it's not like disgusting, it's just too sweet. Okay. But now I need to do my hair. I did my hair at home, but it was not enough because I didn't, I didn't wake up on time. And when you have bangs, you're basically fucked because <laughs> they need to sit. They need to sit. Alright, one. This looks ridiculous and I hope no one will actually stop me. That never happened to me, by the way. I was never stopped by police in my life and I'm driving for like actively for like what four years or something. Alright. I really hope no one will stop me like that. OMG. Okay, uh, so let's go. So I arrived looking fresh. I just opened my hair. And that was a very good idea to do that. So my hair looks good after. I am going now. I even arrived a little bit earlier because I don't know. I think they had like um, a traffic at that time that disappeared when I was driving. So I arrived 20, 15, 20 minutes before the actual time. And so what my idea was for the nails is that I do just very simple, boring, white, milky nails. Um, yeah, I already said it to my story, like I saw it in a lot of girls recently and I think it's just very elegant and I never had these simple nails. I always had like chrome or something more like a French tip or things like that. So I am going for very plain and I am leaving the length of my nails right now because I like the long nails currently uh, I will go now and after I'm I'm not sure if I will stay here and go to a cafe and work a little bit I like this Prague vibe because I really like it here or I should just drive home I don't know I will definitely get a Starbucks that actually tastes oh my god guys I didn't drink the drink didn't drink the drink it's too sweet I cannot it's like it hurts my teeth I'm not American I cannot eat these sweet things like I don't know I'm I'm feeling super wasteful about it and I'm Polish and we don't waste food usually but I don't know I, I just cannot I cannot I, I cannot drink it it's a little bit disgusting to be honest it's it's I tried and I am not able that's why I would get a nice one 
and this time my favorite, all-time favorite, which is an iced latte with oat milk and vanilla free sugar, vanilla sugar free syrup. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So let's go. Just finished my appointment. I feel like all of the clips are in the car. I got my new nails. I so pretty. Uh, they're super long. They feel like they're the same size as my grown-out nails before, but I feel like because they're put together, they look so much more, so much longer. Um, so now I will go to Starbucks and um, actually stay there for a bit just to work on some emails, and then I will go home. And I will also get myself some Poke Bowl here because I love Poke Bowls in Prague. And after that, I will uh, drive home. I'm going to Starbucks that I used to go all the time when I was living here. Um, it's in Karlin, if you know Prague, you know. Uh, and it's like really nostalgic to me and maybe I will drive by the apartment I was living in. So yeah, these were nice times. And I will definitely get a normal drink this time. So I got to Starbucks and I have a little cookie because why not? And ordered my favorite drink and now I will work a little bit. I'm back home, changed clothes, and I was grocery shopping as you saw and unpacked it. Currently, I will make myself some lunch and then do a little bit more work, and then I need to go to the gym. Today is upper body and cardio, so I need to do a stairmaster for 20 minutes and to run for two kilometers. That's the plan of my boyfriend, and I'm not looking forward to it. Plus the, plus the upper body training with weights. So I'm uh, not looking forward to that for sure. I'm super happy with my nails. They look so pretty and I think they look kind of longer. I don't know, like probably just because they're new, but I really like the long nail look and I love long nails. Probably after these ones, I will be like in the short nails mood because I had these long nails for a long time and they will get longer because they will grow out so i'll be like in this short nail mood but i'm not sure i'm not sure let's see uh currently my baby rocky ate and he just burped in my face when i was unpacking the groceries oh. rocky rocky Rocky, look, Rocky, Rocky, look, look. Say hi. Good morning, it's the next day and I am ready to go to the law firm. Today is Tuesday and I um, have the first day at the law firm this week. I don't really know where I will go the next day. I know that on Wednesday I'm not going, but maybe Thursday and Friday. So this is my outfit. I have this nice blazer from Zara. It's from last year. And not from last year, but from like earlier this year. So I don't think it's available anymore. And these pants I bought uh, recently, two days ago actually, at Zara and um, or three days ago. And I really, really like them. They have like the perfect size, length, and everything. And these are from Zara as well. And I wear the size 36. Um, so 
I wanted to have the size 34 but they didn't have it they just had the like 34 in a different model that I also bought but they are more like um, these are high waisted and the other ones are not so high like they're not low waist but they like mid waist I would say but then I looked on Zara online and I found these in 34 so I will have the these in both sizes I like it because these are more like comfortable and the 34 are more like snatched when I it depends on the look I want to go with so I was very excited because you know like finding jeans is probably the hardest thing on earth and I was super surprised I could find something in Zara so this is from Zara this is a simple top from Gina Trico. I have this in like multiple colors and yep yeah, I'm ready to go uh, before I go I need to take Rocky out make myself some coffee to go and yep yeah, after when I come home I need to film a collaboration and super excited about it Mm, and then I will need to go to the gym because today is leg day and <laughs> again at the gym yesterday I went and I did upper body it was all right um yeah today is leg day also a little run I am definitely not looking forward to these runs I like they're like two kilometers it's not a lot but on the other hand it's like so annoying to do all the time like after a workout but it's good to do cardio after like a leg session like after weightlifting um to burn the, like extra calories and i feel like i feel after you always feel good it's just before and during it's just so hard he's sleeping currently but now we are going out let's go out rocky let's go out I... that's your favorite word what's your favorite word you want a treat oh Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Good boy. Good boy. t-shirt for the gym because it's winter and it's cool to train with like big t-shirts and it's from Zara and this t-shirt I got from my boyfriend as a gift and guys uh, welcome my new big pimple here it just developed overnight and it looks ridiculous and it hurts as hell and the thing is my my skin is pretty clear right now currently but it's just like this thing here it's like just so annoying but never mind I hope it will go away tomorrow and let's go to the gym Oi, this fell on you oh no oh no you're sure because here it's so nice and shadowy huh Rocky got a big meal already you liked it huh you like your food, Rocky? I wanted to quickly show you what I prepare for the gym because it's like a little bit of preparation. Uh, I have always two bottles. One is with already the powder of the clear whey I use from uh, my protein. And I always put here the 25 or 20 grams like a scoop for after the gym to always have these proteins after my workout uh, and it's also like a refreshment and oh i usually walk uh to the gym and back and it's like the drink on the way back home and then i obviously have a normal bottle uh, i usually i use my nice bottle like you know this like this gray one beige gray one but um, the thing is, I put here my booster, uh, I use boosters on leg days and from Shape Republic and when I put the booster inside my nice bottle, the bottle and the thing is, I am sometimes just like leave it in my bag and uh, the, 
the bottle starts like uh, to stink or something and then the bottle destroyed because I had already very nice bottles that I destroyed like that with my booster so I decided to just take a random bottle I have and use it as my just drinking uh, bottle and booster bottle actually I'm thinking right now but that will be too much to just take a third bottle just for water because the booster water is not enough for the whole workout but I don't know, I think I will just leave it here and then I just fill up again in this one so this is my little preparation <laughs> and oh my god, okay, you're so funny you're so funny, especially when he has his one tooth out like, like this and he does that like not every time, just like when he lays down and he looks so cute come here baby come to mommy and always when I talk to him or when I walk towards him his ears go back because he's like he enjoys it and he wants to be cuddled he always wants to be cuddled so when I call him or when I walk towards him he thinks he'll be cuddled he's the cutest new packages from Amazon so I'm here back from the gym it's already dark Hi. I was at the supermarket and pick up the packages and I don't... I know what it says like so. um, Sometimes I, my brain is like not functioning for like seconds and then I'm just... What? Okay, Rocky, no! Here is a, a new milk foamer Foamer? I don't know because mine broke um, I had this one from I Ikea and I don't know, I just it's, I closed the drawer like in the wrong way and it just was stuck there and then it was like this and, and it was not functioning but this one is cool because oh, it, it even has a stand for it that's nice you can like the power comes from up so it's better than if the power comes from this side I don't know, it looks kind of cute I think the logo is a little bit too big but yeah and this stand is really cute I don't know if I will use it because my kitchen is super duper small and I would just rather have it in the drawer but like uh, that's so nice actually maybe I will just leave it there so yeah, this will be in my Amazon storefront Next things are decorations for my boyfriend's birthday He doesn't really know that I am like buying decorations and doing all this stuff I closed the window because it's super loud always here So he doesn't really know that I am buying him something like preparing decorations like buying gifts, yes, but preparing decorations because we never did that to each other um, Mostly we've been out away from for our birthdays like uh, traveling and for my birthday like the thing is my boyfriend is not like the biggest uh, idea uh, like romantic kind of guy or not even romantic but like did he has ideas to surprise me or things like that not really I don't complain but I will maybe start with it and then he will get inspired by it who knows he'll definitely not see this vlog so but you will see the decorations so I bought two of the same because um, like I will have one happy birthday but I wanted more balloons and the colors are um, black, silver and white and the same here this will be cute and his favorite cake is cheesecake so I thought of just buying a cheesecake and um, I will not do a cheesecake, I don't have an oven but buying a cheesecake and just buying nice candles for it and maybe some decorations on top the same as I did for my birthday you know my boyfriend is so disconnected from this world that I was thinking because I wanted to put the balloon somewhere that he doesn't see it like kind of hide it but I I bet that if if I would just like leave it there somewhere like open he would not even ask question what this is and look after it He's so disconnected and like he just is in his bubble and 
he doesn't really care about like what lays around, new things around the house, like details. I don't know. It, it's he's just like a guy. I don't know if everyone's like this. I don't think so, but he's definitely like this. So I just put it in our little room where we have all our trashy like uh, vacuum cleaner and stuff. Not really. I didn't really hide it, but he will. He doesn't even go to this room. Like I will not bother like uh, hiding it. So oh my god, I have. A song on my mind. It's from TikTok. It's uh, this Tyler, 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 Water, where they dance like um, they go from this side to this side and they shake like the booty like like crazy. And I have this on my mind all day long. And I'm I was watching a lot of dance videos of this. It's like this challenge. And I like how are people moving their body like this? Like it's crazy. I would like to move my body like this, but it's def like in my mind it's possible. But I don't, I don't even want to try it out. And people are laughing and like recording their funny challenge where they cannot twerk. Well, uh, I wish I could, but... Yesterday I had a very bad day because I... Um, I have like my diet and my calories I eat every day and yesterday was just a day where I didn't care what I ate and I went and bought so many sweets. Like, not so many sweets, but... Usually I don't eat sweet, so it was a lot for me. Then I ate like like everything that's in the fridge. I had like an attack. I don't know why, but I have these days because people think like I am perfect every day. No, yesterday was a day when I was like, I was so lazy, first of all. And then everything came together and you're just like in a bad mood and bad flow and you do everything wrong. So that day was for me. So today I am... Like, I sometimes we need those days to like be more fresh and motivated the next day. And today I was was quite good. Um, the thing is, I'm eating less, but I'm not hungry. I just have a huge appetite, huge. Like I'm not really hungry. I don't starve. I'm not. I don't have an empty stomach. Maybe when I wake up sometimes, but then I eat breakfast, and I never starve. Like. These little calories are completely enough for me, in theory, but I always want to eat food because I like it, I love food and for me it's like, it's just difficult to be at home and have the fridge and have nice things in the fridge. Um, having sweets at home is a no-go for me, I cannot have sweets at home otherwise I will eat them, so we usually don't have any sweets at home, that's why I just need to go and buy them. We just have like um, these protein sweets, like bars um, or chips, but these things very like it's more like we buy it every day, like because we, as I say, we eat these things when they're at home, so we buy it every morning or every night for the next day, just so we don't see it all the time. It's really bad with us. My boyfriend and me, we are the same. We could eat all the time, and we have huge appetites, and. For me personally, I, it's so difficult to to hear to listen to people that they say like I struggle to eat because I I, I saw a TikTok or something that oh I I gained 16 kilos um, and this girl was super happy because she said that she struggles to eat enough and for me personally it was so strange to listen to this I was like like what like yeah forget to eat and I was like what. Like, I am thinking about the food all the time. But everyone is different and I, I know that and... I don't know, I, I, wouldn't, I don't want to say I wish I was like that because that's probably also very awful and people are struggling with eating more. But yeah, sometimes I wish I had just less appet a little bit less appetite and um, yeah, just a little bit to help me out. Like, it's just, it's just difficult, like these cravings. Wait a second. I wanted to do tomato mozzarella, but I don't have tomato. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> I didn't know. Okay, so it will be just chicken and mozzarella. No, we need to figure something out. Let's go to my fridge. I have a lot of like um, 
frozen vegetables. But wait, let's see first here. Ah, I have some. I have some pepper and some cucumber. Yeah, I think I will do that because, because these vegetables are usually more calories because they have like a little bit of butter in it. So I will just use these because these have little calories and I have so much. And also because I'm already in a chatty mood um, and my chicken is cooking, I wanted to uh, tell you what happened to me today. So I was on my Instagram and I received a message from a girl that works for an agency. And I just like this better here. And uh, I was like, hmm, like she has a col collaboration for us, whatever. So yes, she had, and she wrote me that they have a specific collaboration with uh, a plastic surgeon uh, doing um, breast operations. Um, and if like she knows that sensitive topic and blah blah blah, and if I or any of my friends would like to have a free boob job. Um, and of course like just document it on my Instagram like don't do even like ad or something like don't do a reel about the boob job just like document it on my Instagram and the thing is I want a boob job for sure in the future and I, I, I was thinking about it already for a long time but I was like what like that's that came really like it was crazy because it's a it's a big topic and I don't I don't know if I really wanted like make it that public that documented on my Instagram. On the other hand, it's something I want and I would have it for free. Free. To represent like to present it on my Instagram. But it's a it's a very difficult topic for me and I don't know what to do. Um this a surgeon actually is very good. Like I checked it out, it's Munich. He's very good, he has an Instagram, he has like these photos, how it looks like, it looks very good, everything looks pretty, pretty nice, but I don't know, let me know, let me know what you think about it, because I know from different influencers they get a lot of hate when they film anything like plastic surgery or things like that. I uh, recently watched Nazanin Kavari's Mommy Makeover, where she gets a breast augmentation and the BBL and everything like that, obviously that's a lot of change uh, it's very controversial and she gets a lot of hate but also like comments that like people are also interested because they want it from themselves um, and I always think that people should decide from themselves and yes camera died I tried it a little bit so what I was saying I have a um, I have a reach and I have influence but I still think that everyone has their own brain and can decide like okay I want this or I don't want this um, like I'm not there to um, like be people's parents basically but uh, I don't know it's a very difficult topic I will probably not do it but I just wanted to let you know like like it's a it's an interesting story like I would never think someone would reach out to me like I don't do any content with plastic surgery like I don't know not even in that direction like you know what I mean uh, probably someone saw that I have small boobs and um, yeah, thought like, okay, we have this opportunity for her. I don't know. Like, I don't feel offended at all. I wanted it myself. I totally see it. I was talking a lot right now and I need to end this vlog. And see you next time. Bye.